this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I paint a purple floral design on this glass fireball bottle. And I like the shape of this bottle. I have cleaned it off, rubbed it off with uh, rubbing alcohol and soap and water. It's ready to go. I am going to be using two of my A Magic brushes today, a number 10 and a number 4. These are both flat brushes. They're long handled. And then I'm going to be using a number 8 Deerfoot Stippler and a Dotting Stylus. The paint I'm using for this design are Moon Yellow, all of them are folk art paints, Licorice, keep that on the side, Eggplant, Lavender, Wicker White, Thicket, and Real Brown. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the number 10 A Magic Flat Brush first to create my petals from my, my flower, the flowers I should say. Alright, so I'm going to stick the flat brush just directly into the eggplant not double loading it or anything like that. I'm just going to stick it in and come down and start making my design. Now when you're doing a design like this you can actually just start at one side and keep going all the way around or if you're concerned about having them spaced nicely you can do like the hands of a clock you know, your noon, three, six, and nine or you can just randomly start painting and, and I'm not too concerned with it so I am just going to start painting and I like to be more free with it with this design and just start putting it in and I will come back over I'm gonna do this with some white I will come back over this and add some more color to it because I want my petals to be nice and give a nice coating because that's real important when you're doing work like this that the petals right now they're too transparent so I want to make sure they're more opaque that'll give me good coverage and that's very very important All right, I'm going to scrape up a little bit, put some light in here. I'm going to do another one. I like to kind of vary them a little bit. Do one, go ahead and put it over here. Put some light towards the top. And then add some more of the eggplant and come in and just pull it around the bottom. Like that. I hope I didn't get, to get it on there, I'm sorry. Let me scoop this out a little bit. So like this one, I put white towards the top, white towards the top there. And now I'm going to take this brush and do what I'm considering as more of like a, just a, it's not open, more of a, a closed bloom. I'm just going to fill it in over here like that, do the same thing. Now keep in mind too, when you're doing this type of, and I'm using my brush like this, not like this, and the more pressure I put, or the, the least amount of pressure that I place on it, is what determines how the, how the actual stroke looks, if that makes sense. Alright, so then I'm going to come back through here and come and start putting in some white. Just like so. And then just keep doing that on these. I'm actually making my another row of petals over the top of the first set. So it's almost like they're coming, the bottom row is meeting up with it because it's partially, it's pretty much closed. I shouldn't even say partially, it's pretty much closed. And then I just like to have them come out like this down at the bottom a little bit. Um, and I can put my stem 
up in there. Now when I was talking about pressure, like if I don't put hardly any pressure, it's a thinner stroke. If I push it down more, you're going to have a, a thicker stroke, thicker paddle. Again with this one, because I actually had some white on the top, it's going to pretty much remain like that. And I can come back over this, which I will, with some, I have another color, the lavender here. I just want to throw a little bit of that into it. And honestly, you don't even have to go over each petal with, uh, with it. You can vary the petals so they have a little bit of a different look to them. And that they're not all the same. So I'm going to just dip my brush into the lavender and then just come here and then just kind of randomly, doesn't have to be on each one. But I want to make sure I get good coverage and I'm not taking off the coverage that I've already painted on here because that can happen too, if that makes sense. And just a little bit, not a lot. a little bit of that off and I can go back through again if I want and just put in some more of the eggplant and that just really kind of I don't know I think it gives it a little bit more interest loose and interest and I'm going to do the same over here and I like it I hope you like it too. This is kind of a fun little pattern. Well, you know what? Do a little bit more of that over here. Well, it just makes the petals a little more interesting doing and just tapping it in a little bit. So it's not all the same. Again, it's intended to be a loose pattern. All right, so then I'm going to take my number eight deer foot stippler. Going on the tip here, the top, I'm going to put yellow, and then on the heel, I'm going to do the brown. When I load them, I always tap them on my palette. I use a glass plate. I always tap it before I tap it in. And keep in mind, too, that you could actually give this some drying time before you tap these in. And all of your centers do not have to go in the same direction. meaning that your flowers can be pointing pointing different ways and some of your centers are going to be bigger than the others because the flowers are not all the same size alright let's move on to the next one you can keep working them if you want get a little bit of that off here I feel like it's getting mushy and keep in mind too sometimes this, this happens if you've got too much paint or if the paint is dry underneath you know, it can muddle it a little bit. You just have to work on it. I think it's very pretty. I love this this design. Very easy design to tap in. simple. I'm going to put a little bit more brown in here. And you can also, if you want to do like a, do a set as far as like you're starting to do the centers and then you want to give it some drying time and go back over them again, you can do that as well. And 
And then I'm going to take, just hit some yellow on here, or not yellow, but white. And I want it to make it look like it's got a little texture to it. I guess on that one has a little bit bigger center, but the connection to the center I was a little bit bigger as well. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is take my brush, put it into my thicket, my moon yellow, and do a blending stroke. I'm going to put the side of the thicket into the brown. And then just keep doing blending strokes until I kind of get it the color I want. I like I like to vary it a little bit. Alright, so what I'm going to do then is just pull this down as if I have one stem for the whole the whole design. If you don't like to do it that way, you can have it to where you have just the leaves painted or you know, and totally leave out a stem. You don't have to have a stem. That's up to you. Like I said, if you want to make it full and just have leaves stuck, you know, painted around the flowers, that's good as well. Alright, so bring that over there and then put this little guy over here and we're, we're done with that. Now, if you want to make it thicker, more defined because I can tell you if it's too thin it is at risk of, of uh, being scratched so you want to make sure that whatever you're painting is painted nicely thick enough so that it's just not going to come off something hits against it so the more paint you add as long as you don't do too heavy we're at a bubble and that can be an issue too. Definitely. And you can just keep working it to get it the consistency that you want. And you can even add some white in. White will definitely help make it more opaque, just so you know. Alright, so the next step I'm going to do is start adding in my leaves. Which, if you know my painting, you know that I love my leaves. And first of all, I'm going to start by doing some little quick little pulls down here to attach us my little, I don't know, they're not really buds, but my little, not open yet, flowers, if that makes sense. Just working it as best I can, and you can you know, make them whatever size doesn't matter. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the leaves, as I promised. All right, so on this, I'm just doing a just a real easy. leaf. And I'm just going to pull my stem through. I want to go over it again. And these you can, like I said, you can hit them with a the hair dryer and then go over them again if you want just to get get them you know, the consistency and however you desire them to be. Okay, on this I'm going to do it where I have the darker green on the outside this part. And then do, let me go back over this again, let me fill it up again. If 
you feel like you got too much paint on your brush, just scrape it off. Easy as that. And it's funny because I think that kind of varies from one bottle to the next how well the paint goes on. I don't know why there's a difference. I find some bottles are easier to paint on than others. It's definitely a difference when you're doing this on glass as opposed to paper. No doubt about that one. So you just randomly go in here, just keep putting the paint down. And go over the go over one of the petals on the plant, that's fine. Just keep tipping them in. And your your leaves don't have to be perfect. No, mine sure aren't. Sometimes you just have to kind of keep going like this and just touching it and pulling and touching and pulling just to get the consistency that you want. Go ahead and do this one. Then I'm going to do my filler leaves. Filler leaves, filler leaves. It's very pretty. I hope you like it. Now, for the purpose of the video, I'm just doing the front of the bottle. I will complete doing the entire bottle in order to sell it. But just to start with, I'm just going to be doing it just like this for right now. And these filler filler leaves are just so easy. I mean you could even just do them with one color with not even adding a second or or you could add maybe another color just to make them stand out a little bit more. However you want to do them. Just like that. And you can even do some extra little pulls out from, from the design. Let's see, it's just, uh, it's just so relaxing. That's why I like to to encourage people to not only be creative but get into a hobby that will give you something to do that's relaxing and you know where you can be creative and still have have something that you can use a very usable product now you can add lights to this or you can just set it on a shelf Oops, I get purple in there. Or you could just set it on a shelf and just add some color to your decor. Pretty simple. That. And then, uh, maybe I'll add a little bit more here. That. Add a little paint on here. All right. So what I'm going to do next and finish it up with is take my little stylus. I'm going to take my licorice. And what I'm going to do is tap it into the licorice. And then I'm just going to come through here and just do some light. I like these little 
dots where you just you tap and then you just keep tapping until your paint kind of runs out. Make little specks. Almost kind of remind me of little freckles. But you don't have to keep loading in between. You just keep tapping until, until you're tapped out. You don't have to do this part. You can leave it out or you don't have to do it as much as I'm doing it. But I like the dots so I do it up. I do go pretty heavy on them. This one's pretty glary so it's kind of hard for me to see. But you don't have to use black. You don't have to use any of these colors. You use what you have. If you're using my designs or you're painting along with me, whatever, because I would like to start doing some uh, maybe even some Zoom painting classes. If you would have any interest in that, let me know down below where I can give you a list of what we're going to be doing. And then you can have that and paint along with me. That would be kind of fun too. All right, I'm done for now. I hope you like this. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. And before you leave, please make sure you hit that subscribe button that you'll see underneath the video and share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks again so much for stopping by and taking time to, to view my video. If you want to stick around and view some of my other ones, that would be awesome. And until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.